सो वट इज़ अब गाइज दिस इज़ करन हेयर वेलकम बैक टू टेक करन यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड शाउमी यू लेटेस्ट मी यू आई ट्वेल्व वी ट्वेल्व पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट एट पॉइंट जीरो स्टेबल वर्जन दिस इज़ अ पोर्टेड बिल्ड फॉर एडमी नोट एट एंड इफ यूर यूजिंग रेडमी नोट सेवन इट इज़ ऑफिशली अवेलेबल फॉर यूर डिवाइस इफ यूर यूजिंग एनी अदर डिवाइस यू कैन इंस्टॉल द जी एस आई एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज़ अवेलेबल फॉर सम अदर डिवाइस टू एज अ स्टेबल ऑफिशियल बिल्ड यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस बिल्ड ऑन यूर डिवाइस इन दिस बिल्ड दिस इज़ अ शॉमी यू बिल्ड विच हैज़ नो एड्स नो ब्लॉटवेयर एंड सम कूल फीचर दिस इज अ स्टेबल बिल्ड फॉर सो मे बी सम फीचर्स आर मिसिंग बट आई इंस्टॉल दिस पोर्टेड बिल्ड फॉर एडमी नोट एट सो हाउ इज़ द परफॉर्म in a ported build which are the things working and everything in this video make sure to watch this video till the end let's get So guys this is a ported build Xiaomi's EU stable version which I have installed on my Redmi Note 8 I have applied a theme and the name of the theme is let me just show you once when you go to my account go to the theme store and I am using this Chinese theme I'll provide you the link in the description for this theme if you want to the theme is quite good and I'm using for some time the smoothness of this build is quite great this is how your control center will look like after this theme Sorry if you uh, if you are wondering about I have installed a theme I'm not showing the stock look but there's nothing changed in the stock look so there's no time to show that it's good thing if I show you the theme and the theme looks good too so it means I am reviewing a theme including a room so I think it looks better the navigation keys are not changed here but your status bar is changed here looking good and swiping right you have the option to choose if you want to choose the google feed or you want to choose the app drawer which is a feature available in Xiaomi's EU cast Moving on to the theme store it still is in the chinese variant as you can see the names still are in some english but the theme is fully in chinese and if we talk about other things we have the wallpaper section we have the dynamic wallpaper section we have the ringtone section here fonts and icons you can customize any of the things from here and best part is if you apply any font from here you can simply choose the fonts apply them without even rebooting your device this is kind of great thing because it's type of a most headache thing to just apply the theme and just then reboot your device to apply it properly that's quite difficult and also if you want to apply any any theme you can simply directly apply without having to reboot your device when you go to the theme section go to your my themes and here you have the option to import your themes you can simply directly import without any issues just go to your location where you have lots of themes available in my case i have an sd card so for your information i am going to upload i am going to choose i am going to import this theme and it is as you can see it's imported successfully i can simply apply the theme if i want to but i don't want to if you want these kind of themes you can comment below i'll provide the link in the description for all of these theme files If you talk about the camera this is a ported build so if you talk about your stock stable camera for your Redmi Note 7 or other devices obviously that will be same but if you're using Redmi Note 8 and using this ported build this is how your camera will look like this is the photo mode this is the ultra wide mode and this is the normal mode portrait mode maybe portrait mode has some bugs Yes portrait mode has some bugs so you cannot use the portrait mode i am not sure about the g cam but portrait mode in this camera the stock camera is not working so you have to be you have to compromise with that also it is little bit of slow in the terms of camera and here you have a feature called dynamic shots which is quite impressive and when you click here you have the option of choosing the macro lens and you also have the option of google lens some great features are available which you can choose and which is kind of great thing and go to your settings here you have some watermark options quick snap mode scan qr codes and all the same features and you can also customize your camera modes if you want to and like in my case i already choose more panel which i suits best and looks very very impressive If you want to root your device with Magic 20.4 I'm using the latest Magic 20.4 and if I going to check out my safety net status till now it's very good that safety net status is passed let me just show you it will show you the cts profile is true and basic entity is true so this is also kind of great thing you can use any modules also if you want to and and when i go to the google play store let me show you one thing that my device is certified or not i have noticed one thing i don't know if you are noticing or not app opening speed and app closing speed is little bit of slow as you can see the animations are little bit of slow which should be fast enough i am using the animation 0.5x 
it's a ported build so maybe some things are here and there you can choose the ami mover option and some other things like same other things camera and all kind of things in play store let me show you that my device is certified no or not because i'm using magic 20.4 and the safety net status was passed that's why we have the device is certified option available here so this is also kind of impressive thing you can use banking apps i'm not sure about that but still i think you can use if we talk about the settings as this has no customization options this is xiaomi eu custom room which is just a stable build nothing else nothing new whenever you go to the lock screen and if you're noticing we have some very slowness thing as you can see menus are taking some time to load and this is not because of theme because i have used the stock theme also but still some issues were there i just wanted to share with you that this is quite a little bit of slow little bit of laggy i'm not saying that it is full laggy but little bit of laggy maybe because of my device i'm using a 4 gb variant if you're using the 6 gb variant maybe some differences for you but in my case it's little bit of laggy every app every menu seems to take some time i'm not sure why but it is taking some time for me i have also rebooted my device but still it's taking time so all the features i have already shown you these are the same you can use this build if you want to in home screen you have some main customization options you can use the with app drawer or without app drawer option if you want to you can also choose the minus one screen this is a very impressive thing best thing was you can import themes you can also just simply do whatever you want to do import themes and no ads no bloatware this is good something interesting these are all the things about xiaomi eu's latest stable build and if you are using that v note 7 it's available officially you can go to xiaomi eu website and download and if you're using that v note 8 i'll provide the link for this ported build in the description you can go and check it out this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day